Hey there, Hoshpup here, back for another episode of LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed. We're just going to go through the final moments of the Tyranny of Justice event. Going to be spending the last of our energy. We got 53 energy, which was nice in the mail. Going to be refreshing the energy here with some gems. So we can just go ahead and farm as many earnest tiles as we can. We're also going to refresh his node and then buy some more energy one more time and do it again. And there we go, managed to end up with 90 tiles, which I think is pretty good. We also repeated this on another day, but I don't have footage of that. So we actually got all the way up to 111 tiles, which is great. And since the event is off soon, we need to make sure we loot these nodes so we can get some of the Gorwell tiles. Always nice. And I think next time this event rolls around, we should be able to unlock enough minifigures to hopefully get the final Gorwell node. Although it might take the whole event. There's quite a lot of minifigures we have to get up to be able to do that. But I'm very happy we can loop four of these. We're well on our way to eventually leveling up Gorwell. And now we're back just before the event's about to end. One hour. And here we are, 111 tiles for Ernest. Not going to refresh my energy again. 200 gems is a bit steep at the moment and I have more than enough event currency to be able to buy the rest of the tiles. So that's what we're going to go and do in a bit. For now though, let's have a look at what's coming next. The alumni event's going to be back. For another rerun, we actually still have some nodes that haven't been golded yet, but they don't really give you anything for golding them, so there isn't really a point, but I might just do it for fun. It would be something to do in this game, because in the Alumni Days event, there isn't really anything I can do anymore, I've got everything. There's no more minifigures to unlock, literally all the energy will just be spent on farming for duplicate tiles so I can get some master currency, and that's pretty much it. Oh well, just means we'll save our gems for another event, can't really complain about that. It is a great event though, as it has some very powerful minifigures for you to unlock. And finally, back in the present, it's the time we've all been waiting for, to unlock Sergeant Ernest. Although before that we have to buy his tiles, which cost 2000 event currency, which is the same as Rita, that's interesting, as Rita is easier to farm than some of the other minifigures here, like Nonsuch is right at the end and it costs 1500. Huh, well now that we've got him, we might as well spend it on another minifigure. We're going to go for Nonsuch, since he's just so cheap. Might as well do that. And he's very good too. So there we go, spending as much as we can on him. We'd be able to get more tiles getting Lee, but I don't want to have to go and get Lee. Actually, maybe not, because they only give you three tiles versus the five from the other ones. But who cares about that? It's time to unlock Sergeant Ernest Lequay. And that's interesting. I didn't know he was part of the Lequay family, so... Does that mean that he gets buffs from Rita as well? And there we go, we've unlocked him at star rank 4. Cool. Yeah, he's part of the Laquays, that is interesting. Well, we're gonna go and have a look at his abilities, and then after that we're just gonna end the video because this is all we came here to do really. We're not gonna level him up today actually, I should mention, because there are no quests I really want to complete with Mr. Moneybags or anything, we're gonna save it for a big one. Same with not doing any of the abilities or anything. Now the reason why is very simple. There are currently no events or any pieces of content in the game where I will need to use a 4 star Sergeant Ernest. He's not currently high enough for me to be able to use him in any bits of current content, but that's okay, I'm just very happy to have finally unlocked him. Now's the time for us to skim over his abilities very quickly. We're gonna have to actually click this down arrow here to read the level 5 version of it, because there's no point reading the level 1 version as that's not the one we're actually gonna be using. So he deals 90% of damage to the target foe. If Ernest has three buffs, this is a guaranteed critical hit. That's pretty good. 65% chance to gain payback for one turn, 80% chance to apply payback on a random ally for two turns. That can be quite strong. As we saw with Nonsuch, having lots of payback is really fun, just watching everyone just go and attack, so... Yeah, that's really good. Especially if you pair them together, I can see how this can be a very scary combo. So that was his basic, his first ability, Boom or Bust, deals 55% damage to all enemies. Okay, so it hits everyone. Each debuff on the enemy team increases the damage by 6%. There's a 75% chance to inflict one stack of Time Bomb on the target foe for three turns. That's a low percent chance, only six. I guess because it hits everyone, it can't be that high. And uh, damage, yeah, half damage, just over half damage to all enemies. That's really good. But they have, oh, what's all this? All foes have a chance to be inflicted with 10% chance for hero passive block for two turns, 10% chance for disarm for one turn, and then various chances for these things. That's like a lot of randomness. 
You don't know what you're going to get with this. It's quite funny. Well, some of these are better than others, like passive block and disarmed. I guess that's why they're only on 10% each. Well, that's cool. And then his third and final ability, Cheering Trumpet. Gains Taunt for one turn. Oh, okay, so he's a tank then. Clears all debuffs from all heroes. For each debuff cleared, each hero gains one stack of heal over time for three turns. Each hero with cleared debuffs also gains damage block. If total debuffs cleared from all heroes is 6 plus, Ernest will gain damage immunity for one turn. Wow, that is so strong. So he heals too. But it's not the strongest heal, like heal over time, it's slow, because you've got to take time for it to take effect, but still. And it gets damage immunity if there's more than 6 debuffs. So if you use this at the right moment, people will be forced to attack him, but he'll take no damage. Wow, that is good. And he has two passives. Alright then. When Admiral Nonsuch is on the team, Ernest has his attack and defense increased by 30%. Okay, you definitely want to take Admiral Nonsuch with Ernest. There's no reason not to. Especially with the very useful 30% attack and defense increase. If any ally takes damage, that ally has a 35% chance to gain speed up for two turns. Imperial allies have a 60% chance to gain speed up. Okay, that's not as interesting. But that one's really good. Family Bonds. When Ernest attacks a foe, there is a 40% chance for each Laquay to assist. If a Laquay ally takes damage, Ernest has a 50% chance to counter against the attacking foe. Now that's pretty decent, so you can make him work with Nonsuch or the Laquays. Although I have a feeling that the Laquays are less useful, and you could just ignore this passive. But I guess you could take both. So what happens if you would take both of them? So they would assist you in damage 40% of the time, and... If a Laquay takes damage, Ernest will go and attack them. It's quite cool, in theory. It's just, even after the buffs, a private Laquay is just a bit eh, still. It would be fun just to try a Laquay team with Nonsuch and then someone else. I guess you would just take the Governor maybe at that point, unless you needed healing and then Lee or someone else. It would be interesting. Well, that'll be fun to do in the future. Need to get the star ranks up for these minifigures. Actually, when you're looking at Laquays at the moment, let's go to Imperial. There we go. Yeah, everyone's on five stars currently except for Ernest, so I don't think we'll be using Ernest that much. <laughs> Got a lot of tiles to farm for him, but we are halfway for Nonsuch and Governor, and Lee is almost halfway. Rita is just... no. Yeah, we might be able to do it with a bit of luck. It's going to be tricky though, we have to get three more minifigures to star rank six to be able to tackle that node. I guess it's possible, but that means if we did, it'll be what, Valiant, Nonsuch... Governor and Lee and Laquay. But not the better Laquay, the original one. Well, maybe the node won't be too hard. <laughs> it probably will be. Something to do in the future. Well, that's going to be it from me. We have unlocked Sergeant Ernest and looked over his abilities. He looks very cool. Can't wait to actually be able to use him in like five months from now when we finally get enough tiles and the event rolls back round. <laughs> it's going to be a long wait. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.